so now we will discuss the Carnot map or K map implementation of half adder circuit. So the two output expressions first we have is the sum output which is a bar b or a b bar and we have the carry which is simply a b. So this is one, this is one which will be very simple because there is nothing to minimize, there is nothing to simplify but still let us go on a systematic map. So we will be using a two variable k map. So Okay, one side is A and this side is B. So here it is <coughs> A bar, then A, here it is B bar and then B. Okay, so this is for 0, this is SOP or sum of products or min term based k map so complemented or inverted variables they represent 0 uncomplemented variables they represent 1 again this is 0 this is 1 so we have a bar b a b bar so a bar b so there we will represent 1 this is 1 then a b bar a b bar here okay so here there is no possibility of pair formation quad formation nothing like that so individual single variable groups will form okay this so it represents a bar b or a b bar okay Similarly, for carry, two variable K map again. A B A bar A B bar b this is 0 this is 1 0 this is 1 so carry is a b so a b so here this this one so again a single variable group so here this is sum and this is carry which is equal to a b and the truth table for it zero zero 0 1 1 0 1 1 so the sum is basically XOR operation so when the two inputs that are of the same type 0 0 1 1 the sum output or the XOR output because the sum is XOR A bar B A B bar it will be 0 and when they are of the opposite type one is the complement or in inverted one version of the other 
in that case the output will be 1 so 0 1 1 0 it will be 1 1 and carry when both the inputs are 1 only in that case the carry will be 1 because it is AND operation C is equal to AB so only in the last case 1 1 the carry will be 1 and all the other cases it will be 0 0 0 ok so this is the truth table ok so the k map implementation and the truth table for half 